Welcome back to our video tutorial series on the Lost in Space Code Club project. We are going to move to section 6, Shining Star, clicking here. Now you will combine loops to make a shining star. So let's add a star sprite to your stage. Now this is a habit by now. We click on the thing, let's find the star. If you're confused, you want to start at the first video, there's a link to the full playlist in the description. Okay, that is done. Excellent. Now, could you add code to your star sprite to make the star repeatedly grow and shrink? Now, when the green flag is clicked, that's the event, your star sprite should, should change size, which is a motion lock. Or is that a look? No, it's a motion lock to get bigger a few times and then change size to get smaller a few times. It should do this so that it gets better and then smaller forever and looks like it's shining light. Now, looks like it's shining light might, might be a bit of a... I think that might be reference to the color effect, but let's, let's, this is really about the nested loops as was explained in the introduction. So this is how I've seen... I'm going to put it maybe here, the star? Hmm? Um, code block. So now, obviously, when the flag is clicked, what do we want here, right? We'll want to change size to get bigger a few times and change size to get smaller a few times. So that's a motion. Um, is it? Or is it a looks? It's probably a looks, right? Yes. Um, so change size to get bigger. So change size by one. A few times. So clearly that's a repeat look. So. 10, probably. Then I'm going to duplicate that. See, I can like take the whole thing and duplicate it again so that we change size to get smaller a few times, get smaller 10 times. So if I just put those together, it should look like it's going to get, it's going to get larger first and then smaller. Is that what they asked? Uh, no, bigger first and then smaller. So, uh, no, what? Bigger, bigger than smaller. No, I had, I had this right. So maybe we'll want to make it start quite small. Um, 17, probably? Yeah. So if we want just just run this. Maybe that's not, not enough of a change of size. Um, I want to initialize, of course. Um, we start at 100%, 5 and minus 5, oops, yeah, that was good. So it did, it did do the, I think it did it the previous time, but I hadn't noticed, because we're not looping, we're just doing, we're just going bigger, then smaller. So we'll want to wrap all of this, right, it gets bigger and then smaller forever and looks like it's shining light, so let's see if there's more to it, but probably forever block right here, and we'll put our two blocks, repeat, then within the repeat we change size by plus five, then another repeat, where we change size by minus five, and that wraps the whole forever, and that. Um, so the shining light, I wonder if there's a uh, an effect, perhaps? Brightness, that sounds pretty good, right? Um, five? No. Oh, I see, this is kind of slowly increasing the brightness. So I think I'm going to want to, um, oh, <laughs> yeah, I see. If the code is running whilst I'm, uh, <laughs> yeah, whilst I'm, whilst I'm moving some blocks around, it's going to look like that. So um, I'm sure that we could, well, let's have a look at what they say. So let's have more hints. They're going to show us the blocks. I had this, I had this, I had this, that's fine. Oh, yes, it, they actually lost, you know, if you need more than, you need two repeats and two change of size. I didn't say anything about making it look like it's shining shining light so let me try and achieve that i'd like it to get brighter 
So brightness is just more or less bright, right? I want it to get brighter, brighter when it gets bigger, which kind of makes sense. Um, and then dimmer, that is less bright, so minus 10. Of course, I will always want, you know, if I put 5 in here, I need to put minus 5 here. Put 10 here, I'm going to put minus 10, because otherwise, if they're unbalanced, then your star might get, like, just progressively smaller, or progressively larger, or progressively darker, or progressively brighter, which could be an interesting effect, in fairness. See? Now, this, this is a little bit fast for my taste now, if I'm, if I'm honest, but... Um, Maybe if we make that if we make that twenty repeats, and then t let's have that be twenty one repeats. So it it gonna slowly gonna end up looking slightly smaller and slightly darker. Oh, I think we might have started too dark. So I'm gonna put it as like minus seven and seven. Yeah, I'm kind of happy with that. You can fine tune it. You can do plenty of stuff. You could make a little, like a little rotation, maybe. Let's make it spin. Like really slowly, like one. I'm, I'm just a bit of a perfectionist, but like, yeah, clearly it's done. You can amuse yourself. Uh, certainly I'm amusing myself, as you can see. I will see you very shortly in video number seven, which is a challenge. So if you don't feel comfortable doing a challenge, you can always skip to video number nine. I'm not sure whether this, there will be one, because it's just what next Ghostbusters. So no, there's no video number nine. I'm sorry, the next video will be seven, which is admittedly optional, but I mean, we're not going to... We're not going to shy away from a challenge, are we? I'll see you soon.